Hello, everybody. Um, by this experimental uh, experiment, um, uh, experimental uh, device, we will uh, make flow rate measurement. Um, these uh, are this is pitot tube, and uh, this is the venture nozzle. These are uh, used for flow measurement. Or we can uh, use you can uh, say uh, volumetric flow. So. Um, how can we determine? Uh, in the pitot tube, uh, there are two, two different um, uh, manometer measurements, as you see. Uh, this one measures uh, total pressure. This one uh, measures st static pressure. So uh, between uh, these two, and you, we can observe here. Uh, this will measure uh, dynamic uh, uh, to total pressure and this will uh, show static pressure. So uh, if we subtract uh, the static pressure from total pressure, we will uh, obtain dynamic pressure. And dynamic pressure is directly related to velocity of water. And then using this, uh, we can calculate velocity. And so we know the diameter of this section. So we can calculate, easily calculate flow rate using this information. So pitot tube is used for this. And this is venture nozzle. Venture nozzle is also we use, uh, for example, two points on the venture nozzle, and using Bernoulli principle, uh, then we can obtain again velocity of the water. And also we know uh, the section area of this nozzle. Then we can calculate flow rate easily again. Okay. After this explanation, uh, I want to start uh, experiment now uh, by opening our pump. And then I will uh, start. I will adjust flow rate from the inlet. You can see how it is now. Okay. Now uh, now you observe. You can observe the. This is the uh, total pressure, this is total pressure head, this is uh, static pressure head. So this different flow, this uh, will give us a dynamic pressure. This is a dynamic pressure head. So this is directly related to velocity. So using formula, our formula given in the manual, yeah? also you can uh, derive this uh, equation again using Bernoulli. So uh, we can calculate velocity. And we know the um, section area of this tube, so we can calculate flow rate from that. Okay, you, you see, you understand, I think. Uh, now, now I will use the uh, venture in order. Working principle of that. So, second tube, we select, for example, here, we can use here, and the uh, first one, we can locate here. Okay, and then we will observe again with the, uh, this uh, two manometer, so and two uh, meters. So uh, we will observe now. Okay, this one. Okay, you see these are static pressures, static pressures in the venture nozzle. It is. It depends on uh, flow rate. And changing by flow rate, you see that if I, uh, if I increase the flow rate, then the difference are higher, as you see. Yeah, static pressure difference. Okay, why this difference occurs? Because venture nozzle has uh, different section area in different uh, points. So, you can stand on the occasion. Okay, you stand on the occasion. Uh, you can uh, find the relationship between, uh, between pressure, head difference, and velocity. Again, you can calculate velocity using this information. Then, then you know the uh, section area of this point. After that, uh, by calculation, you can uh, find you can obtain flow rate. Okay, you calculate the flow rate using this object and using natural nozzle. And then what, what can you do? 
here you see rotometer. Rotometer is also used for flow rate. You can compare uh, the calculation of flow rate uh, using pitotes, using venture uh, number, and using rotometer. Okay, this is now uh, I will explain port one. Port one, port way to calculate flow rate. What is that? Yeah, using volumetric hydraulic tank. Also, we can calculate this tank. Before I explain it, but again, I can show you. Uh, how can we calculate the flow rate here? First, we close our outlet. We close our outlet, and then uh, water is filling our tank. And also, uh, this shows the volume. Volume of water. Uh, accumulated in the tank. Okay, I will use a uh, watch to uh, record the time um, for filling uh, our uh, tank. So, okay, at 10, I will, I will start. I will start at 10. Okay, I will start. Now our tank is filling. This is 10 liter. Uh, I think I can uh, stop uh, maybe 20, 20 liter. I can stop 20 liter. Okay, our time is uh, continue going. Okay, and our tank is filling now. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we can, uh, yeah, empty tank. Okay, as you see, 10, 10 liter, 10 liter in the tank we filled. And also uh, our time is 33 uh, uh, seconds. So uh, how can we calculate flow rate? By dividing volume to our time. We can calculate our flow rate. So we can compare four different flow rates, yeah, calculated. Calculated using the top tip, calculated using venture number, calculated with or observed with water method, and calculated using volumetric hydraulic band. Then we can uh, make comments about that, uh, or calibration, we can make calculations about that. Thank you.